Hello everybody, uh, welcome to the Czech Republic, which is currently under state of emergency, as you may know. I'm David Franklin, Shintaido instructor. And I'm David in the studio. I'm going to be helping out with some technical details that I wasn't able to shoot when I was out in the field. And I'm David Franklin at the editing suite. You won't see me very much, but I'm here working very hard behind the scenes, putting all the pieces together. And today I'm going to demonstrate one of the most basic exercises in Shintaido called Eiko Dai. Before I show it to you, uh, I need to tell you that um, this technique in the current situation, I recommend that you practice alone where there are no other people around because it involves yelling and using your voice. And uh, right now that's not a good thing to do when you're close to other people. Uh, in fact, it's probably forbidden. So, um, I'm also going to show you some variations that you can do in a much smaller space, such as indoors, and how to do it with the bokto, which is the, um, the wooden sword, the specific type of wooden sword that we use in Shintaido. Um, in case you are, some of you are watching this video live, some of you are going to watch this video later. So, um, first, in case you don't know the technique, um, and you're a beginner, I'm just going to show you the basic Shintaido technique, Eiko Dai. If you're at home or in a small space and you want to do something while you're watching the technique, if you already know the technique, you can stand in one place, do the same movements, and use your voice if you're in a place where you're allowed to do that. Here's the basic technique, Eiko Dai. In case you're new to Shintaido, I highly recommend this book, the basic Shintaido textbook, which exists in Italian, French, English, and Japanese. And in this textbook, there's a very clear description of this technique and how to do it um, with wonderful illustrations. So I highly recommend that. We soon hope to have this published in the Czech language as well. Okay, what if you want to do this movement with a bokto? This is the bokto. This is a specific type of wooden sword um, designed by Hiroyuki Aoki, the founder of Shintaido. Um, it's um, very loosely based on the design of the traditional Japanese sword, but as you can see, it's not a katana, it's not a boken, it's something quite different. If you do Eiko Dai, or Eiko Sei, or any of the variations, which I'm going to show you in a minute, with the bokto, um, the first thing you need to know is how to grip the bokto. So the proper grip for the bokto is to put your left hand right near the very end and wrap your pinky around the end like this. Your other hand should grip the bokto with some space between them, like this. And generally, we're going to try to reach out and extend as much as possible. And you're going to see very clearly in this that the basic concept of this movement is to stretch up as high as you can and without any gap, without any break in your concentration, 
to slowly, while you're running or while standing in place, point towards the horizon and extend as much as you can. It's really about that simple. Here we go. You're probably familiar with the Japanese concept of uh, the Japanese uh, bonsai, these miniature trees which form little landscapes. And the concept, I'm not an expert in bonsai, but one of the concepts behind bonsai is that in this very small pot, this very miniature tree, you can still get the same feeling as what the Japanese call Dai Shizen, which literally translates as great nature, big nature, or I think the best way to say it in English is mother nature. Um, following that principle, we have some variations on Eiko Dai that in this textbook, and I'm going to show you some of those. This is a way to get the same fantastic feeling of running across a field screaming, but in a much smaller space, which is quite practical these days. Okay, here we go. First, I'm going to describe the stance, however. The stance is called Hami Handachi, and it looks like this. Um, in this stance, the angle of your legs is at least, if possible, if you're flexible enough, at least 90 degrees, or even a little bit more. One of the common mistakes in this stance is that sometimes uh, people let the rear leg drag behind too much or there's a tendency to put the rear leg in the wrong position. So uh, I'm going to show you from behind. So as you can see, this foot is too far in this direction and ideally I should end up um, with the heels of my feet in this position, not like this way. Okay, we're going to try to now combine that stance with the, um, with the Daijodan Kiri Oroshi technique. Uh, 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 When I'm practicing, practicing this indoors at home, uh, I take a step backwards at the beginning and then I step forward and then I'm able to do as many of them as I want in a very small space. Now, next version. This is called Daijuran Kirikumi Musubidachi, which is the name of the stance. And uh, let me demonstrate that. You can practice along if you're watch, uh, you can practice along with me if you're watching at home. All of the same principles apply. Open from the center, extend outward, open the hands as much as possible. And even if you're not using your voice because you're in a situation when you can't, imagine that you're using your voice and stick out your tongue as far as you can. This feeling of every single part of the body opening as much as possible is essential to Shintaido practice. Let me just clarify the stepping in the stance. When you do musubirachi stepping, bring the heels of your feet completely together while keeping good posture and balance. 
as you cut down and you go from extending upward and you go towards the horizon, as I said, keep your stance open, uh, keep your spine vertical, make the transition with no gap, use your voice, reach out, use your voice if you're in a place where you can use your voice, extend your arms and open your hands as much as possible. One more time. Hi, it's me again. I'm still here at the video editing console because making a good Shintaido instructional video is a lot of work. It's very time consuming. And if you'd like to support this work, Go to our webpage and click on the sponsor button. You can make a one-time donation or you can become an ongoing sponsor. We really, really appreciate the support for this work. But anyway, enjoy the video and enjoy the practice.